Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Amaral Furious with Tyshawn. Let's see how I do. And make it do what it do. <laughs> Stay tuned. I'll still let me get right. What it do, you two? What it do? This your boy Joe coming to you with another. <laughs> anyway, man, happy New Year's to everybody. Hope everyone has a safe New Year's. Um, I'm going to be doing a review. But before I do a review, man, I just know this is my quick little rant, real quick. I just know people who always do New Year's resolution never do the New Year's resolution. I just find that just it's crazy. Don't even set one. You're just setting yourself up a failure. Also, um, rant part two. Um, why do you always bring in the new year drunk and not sober? Oh yeah, rent part two. Why every time someone brings in the new year's or have a new year's party, they always drunk? Like, why would you want to come into a new year not sober or clear-minded? Like some people, you know, they smoke get high. I mean, if you smoke get high, man, that's your prerogative. Prerogative, sorry. <laughs> prerogative, but to me, I'm like, didn't you do that last year? So why would you want to switch it up and be like, you know what, this this year, I'm not going to be drunk, I'm not going to be high, I'm just going to come in a new year with a clear mind uh, for my clear set goals for the upcoming year. That's something, you know, as far as changing. A lot of people out here, they still drinking and getting drunk to my old oh, year, uh, new years, I'm leaving my um, people behind, man, you said that last year, folk, folk, you said that last year. That's why I stop, I just, that's why I just unfollow a lot of people, because it's like, you know, it's just... Not a lot of bunch of kids on, on Facebook, but um, anyway, back to your schedule programming. This is what we're going to be reviewing today. Hope y'all can see that. It's the Armor All Furious Wet Tight Shine, our maximum wet black shine. What it is, dog? Wet, dog. But um, yeah, go ahead and clean the tire up a little bit. Then I'm gonna wash the car. Then I'm gonna actually come back and um, spray this on here and um. Probably gonna use a different. I'm also gonna spray some of that nitro on here, just kind of do a little compare comparison. I can't even talk comparison. A little chill out here, so kind of chatter. Anyway, yeah, let's get into it real quick. Where my hose at? <laughs> Where my hose at? <laughs> get it, deep. Oh, wrong one, man. Wrong one. Just gonna wet it down, nuts. But all right, next we got the handy dandy pump. Home Depot, Chapin Home and Garden. I use this. Also, I got LA Awesome in here. Um, it's not concentrated. It's just full, unconcentrated. However you want to say it. I ain't got time for the skeptics. Give it a couple of pumps. You know what I'm saying? This stuff is only a dollar. It does what it's supposed to do. Break down grease, dirt, grind. All that good stuff. You know, some people be like, oh, man, Joe, man, you got to get the tires super clean. Man, you got to get no tires super clean. For once, there's always going to be some type of dirt on there, you know. Some people, I don't know. That's just me. All right, let's get to it. All right, here, you guys see what I'm using? This is, uh... Like a wet woolly, but it's not. It's by Mac Shine with the ran handle. Um, it's pretty okay. I kind of like the um, the other one with the. I can't find it right now, but um, the, I forgot what it's called. But it's like blue. Y'all seen? I did a review on it before. That one does pretty good. Also, I don't know if y'all can see this, but invest in one of these. These are like um, you don't see it, but these are um microfiber gloves you can see it got that like the bug guard on there but this is like five dollars at um five dollars at i think autozone no not autozone advanced auto parts like five dollars man this junk helps speed up the process so good instead of using the towel just put your hand in you can just clean all in the crevices and all that you ain't gonna worry about no towel dropping because everything's on your hand but um let me go ahead and uh, 
scrub tie up. And the dandy glove. Sorry for y'all getting a lot of winds, kind of windy. So you get them two fingers up in now. Them two fingers up in now. Also, you can get behind the, the spokes that are with your fingers. Cool. I rinse off with 25 degree, a little bit more power. Good enough. Oh, also when I went by, some people don't know, I guess, but what I meant by um, I use 25 degrees. Basically, this is a multiple head, as you can see, and it got different degrees. It's been beat up, kind of used it for a long time, but you got different um, degrees you can use. I use 25, you know, it just blows the dirt off a little bit better. As you can see, you know, pretty clean. Not looking for perfection, perfection. Cause you know, I see a lot of YouTubers and um, you know, I watch a lot of YouTube, which I don't think I should watch as many YouTubers as I should. Should be doing my own thing instead of watching people. But I do, you know, always get tips and stuff like that. But you know, some people, they'll go over a tie like five or six times using super clean or some acid or whatever to get the tires like super clean super 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 clean and most of the time when you're doing customers cars there's not my customer car my wife car but when you're doing customers cars they don't care about that all they care about is that thing clean and what them tires is wet that's it that's all they care about they don't care how many times don't waste your time going over a tire five or six times to get every speck of dirt off. You no, know, you can go over a couple of times because what's going to happen is basically, once you clean the tire real good, are you using a, a you know, a quality, like I said, LA Awesome, look. Man, I, I ain't even using Super Clean today. Super Clean is a little bit more powerful. I do give them that. You know, I like Super Clean because they are a little bit more powerful, but man, you can use this and plus, oh, excuse me, once you spray your tire dressing or whatever on there, um, it's gonna make everything look black anyway. Like I, I wouldn't even have to wash the tire. I could have sprayed some tire wet on here, and you wouldn't even know how many times I cleaned the tire. You know. But of course, you know, I wouldn't do that to a customer, or nothing like that. I always make sure that the tire is clean. So don't have step. Now I'm not telling you to have step. What I'm saying is, don't be so serious because the customer don't they don't care about it. They just want me sure it's clean, and they get what they pay for. You know, now if the customer is really Pacific and hey, I want my tires like super, super clean, then yeah, go to the next step. But most of the time, if you're dealing with certain customers, because most of the time, really, the outside wall is not really that dirty unless they've been mud, mud bogging or anything like that. But anyway, enough from that rant. I'm gonna let this tire dry, and I'm gonna come back with the Furious Tire Shine by Armor. <laughs> I said these coming to come out with all kinds of names Furious, Extreme. Uh, what else they got? Uh, super untouchable wet of the wetness and, you know <laughs> cover trip me out man that's just gonna be Amaral is really the trip though Amaral is the trip because they always have like fast and furious clean furious clean extreme clean uh, most advanced <laughs> it's just crazy man how they uh, market they sell but I guess you know you gotta do what you gotta do and uh, but we'll see man stay tuned all right, party people, we are back. One hand, wash the car. Um, 
Now it's time to put this tire dressing on, see what it pop like. Give it that, do it really, give it a wet look. That's the nozzle. I like those nozzles. Maybe a graffiti spray paint nozzle. But it should spray good. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do half of the, um, on this thing right here. And then I'm gonna do the other half with this thing right here. Can y'all see it? Up, up, up. There we go, nitro. Here we go. Shake him up, shake him up, shake him. This nozzle is fat boy. Don't really like these nozzles, but it'll do. All right, this is just the initial application. Let's see what we got. Can y'all tell the difference? I don't really tell the difference. It's pretty, it's pretty wet. Well, I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes. I'm gonna come back and uh, see what it look like when it dries up. Stay tuned. All right, part of people, it's been 10 minutes. As you can still see, still wet now. Not bad. Just the whip. I went ahead and did um, all the tires. Bang, bang, bang. You see, wet dog. Anyway, appreciate y'all hanging around with me. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. If you don't, your boy Joe understand. Y'all stay up. Peace. All right, one more thing before I leave, fellas, um, crew, part of people. As you can see with the nitro, do you see how it has like orange peel? But you can see when I move over, I keep moving, keep moving. See how it smoothens out? That is actually the armor all. See how smooth it is? I try to move as slow as I can. See how it's a more of a smooth sheen shine. But then when I get over here, you still you start to see it. See it? Now I don't know if that could be due to too much product I was applying, but I pretty much went heavy on both sides. But yeah, that's the only difference I can see. You can see how smooth it is, mirror-like finish compared to the orange peel. It's still wet, but you can see like the orange peeling on there. But anyway, once again. Like, comment, subscribe. If you don't, your boy Joe, man, your boy Joe understand. Don't nobody understand? Your boy Joe understand. You know why? Because I appreciate the view. To time out your day, time out your day, maybe today, beginning of the year, you took time out the beginning of the year, your new year, your new you, to watch one of my videos. And I appreciate that. Once again, man, y'all stay up. Make sure, monetize yourself. Get you a side hustle. Make money on the side. If you're working for, of course, a corporation and stuff like that, it's very understandable. But at the end of the day, always try to make yourself your own little money. You know, have your own business. Be your own boss. You know. But yeah, that's my two cents, man. And y'all stay up, man. Peace.